guys thanks for joining me again today so for today I have got a video um, um, unboxing um, stew calico kits um, so for this month I've actually got two um, I guess kits from two months from um, May as well as from March and the reason I'm also getting the March one is because they actually the March one didn't actually arrive um, and yeah so let's have a look um, so here's what's in here. I'm just going to show you the May one. Um, let's have a look at which one it is. I'm actually not too sure which one it is. Um, but let's get rid of this box. Okay. So, if I were to open this one up, then I should be able to see which one this one is. So this is the May one. So let's have a look at the May one. Um, and so I also get, get I got this craft die as well, and this is a star one. And I thought it would be good if you if I just cut a bunch of vellum, like um, cut stars out of vellum um, paper. So I thought that's why I bought these ones. And and you also got these. Um, I guess the stamp set as well which I think you had a choice between two and I decided to go with this one because I really like stamps about food because I take a lot of um, food photos um, so that's a May one my guess is this would be the May one nope that's a March one okay so let's have a look at the documentary kit first aka the project live kit so, um, getting, let's have a look at the embellishment first. So the first thing you get is uh, these um, roller stamps. Uh, sorry, roller stamp. Um, and then you, I think it says something like, let's stay home. Um, and a bunch of homes, as you can see there, uh, houses. Um, date, I think that's said. Um, time and take take more time to I guess a bunch of them are prompts so like it said you are my home um, yeah so a lot mostly about home your home and the next thing you see oh <laughs> a bunch of I guess die cut pieces that are kind of slightly translucent which is actually made by live love paper and so a house as well as this flower kind of acetate flower I believe that is a cloud pink cloud and a bunch of kind of drops uh, water drops essentially which would be cool if you have like a almost like a collage and then have these kind of as a background or something like that that would be cool um, and then you also get these um, kind of wooden word as well looks like there's you actually get a few of these so um sorry but sorry not sorry um pick of the day oh throwback just saying squad wcw um no do what's it true story mcm feels um goals so there's a bunch of hashtags which i presume they are popular um even though i'm not really sure what some of them mean so <laughs> um so these are the um kind of i think they're they're wooden words so like you know you yeah, it's a wooden cut. Made of wooden, uh, made of wood, so. Um, and yeah, so I think they're good. You can actually heat emboss them, just, you know, or you can even mist them using this um, color theory um, mist, which I believe you had a choice between, I think, three colors. I decided with this, the red one. 
and that is that. Um, I think what would be useful for this as well is you can even use it as a, um, a prompt for your scrap page or like you know some embellishment for your um, scrapbook page as well. The next thing is this, um, they look like kind of square printed chipboards. So they look like coasters, don't they? Um, I think they are, I think they're three by three, let's measure it. Yeah, so they're three by three, around three by three. Um, and I would imagine they would be good for a kind of, you just lining them up almost making it like a tile pattern so that would be cool or I mean I could imagine you know using um, hmm, I'm just wondering what they're going to use it for um, I guess you know you might have pocket pages which are 3x3 three three. I don't think I've got any I've got 4x4 four four. Um, so you get you know six, nine four by 4 so Maybe you can even fit, um, you know, put this on top of a 4x4 four four square, that would work too. Um, to be honest, I'm not really sure I'm going to use these, but anyway. Um, and the next thing is you get these, looks like they're kind of stickers. And they look like they're almost, they're not really paper as such, they're almost like a um, slightly translucent. So as you can see, they're, they're not really, they're not opaque, let's put it that way, so they're slightly translucent. To be honest, um, I'm not actually, I'm one of those people who have a lot of these stickers left, mainly because I actually prefer if they are opaque, just mainly because I feel like if I stick it on a photo, Unless the photo is really, really plain, they don't really show up as well. So that's my concern with these. But I guess if you back them up on a white paper cardstock or something and then you just cut them out, that would work too. So that might be an idea. Um, the next thing is you get these um, alphabet stickers. I'm actually one of those people who have a lot of these uh, bags um, left. And I should try to be quite careful when I peel these out just mainly because I I use these bags to um, layer I can it as a layer for my scrap book pages and I think they're really useful um, so you get two of um, two sheets and you get obviously you get a few more A's and B and D etc so that's and that's a pink one and then you're also getting these, looks like they're kind of um, label stickers, which are kind of turquoise and grey. Okay. So, so they're just um, label, cut up labels. They're not, I don't think they're on a sticker sheet. Actually, you get two of them, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I would imagine what would be useful for these um, would be just to kind of pop them out and just stick them directly onto a photo, um, or even as a prompt onto a plain, I guess, um, 4 by 6 journaling card, or even 3 by 4 journaling card, to be honest. Um, Okay, so let's get this out. Alright, so here are the cards that you get. Um, so obviously you get this, um, the kind of month card. And so the kit is called Jolly Holiday, which is surprising because it's not really near Christmas. Um, but I do like the colours. <laughs> And now, let's have a look at the 4 by 6 first. So you get a few 4 by 6 so that's the first one. And I'll just show you the back as well. It's, sim it's the same pattern, but blue and white. And then you get these kind of water drops, which is similar to the, I guess, 
the acetate the embellishment just here so they're the same theme and then on the back it's just cloud and this is beautiful it said morning um to be honest this would be really really good for weekend life um if some of you are doing weekend life and the back is beautiful too i really like that love the color and evening well wow, this is beautiful too um i really like that one anytime not spend on love is wasted like the back love it okay cool so next is uh these um three or four cards i was just going to show you one side first um and then i'm just going to show you the other side as you can see there's some gold kind of gold embossed there as well Oh, that's really cool. PM routine, AM routine. I think it, it feels like the, this month is more like a week in a life kind of coordinated theme. This story. That looks very much like Ali Edwards' handwriting, by the way. <laughs> I'll just move this up a little bit. So you guys can see. Cool. Alright, um, I'll just move this out and then I'll just show you the back of them okay this story it's pretty today morning afternoon evening I really like these prompt ones, so like you can actually, it's almost like a weekend life theme, which you can say weather, mood, priority. Um, sometimes you don't really know what to journal about, and when they have like these prompts, I think they're pretty cool. That's cute, I like that. That's an any nice colour too. We're live here and now. Really like the colour. It's almost a retro kind of look, and you get the yellow one at the back of it. Um, All we have is now. Okay, so that is definitely very much Ali Edwards style. So I'm pretty sure that's probably one of her um, designs. So, okay. So here are all the three or four cards. I think you also get this particular card, which I think it's kind of on the side. It's a play, which is pretty cute. It's bright yellow. Okay, so um, I'll be back. I'll pack this up and I'll be back for the, um, to show you the scrapbook. Um, kit. Okay, so here is the uh, scrapbook kit. So the kit is called Jolly Holiday. Um, I really like the colour this month. I know that Studio Calico tend to do um, a lot of pink. Um, I happen to like pink, so I'm okay with it. Um, I actually quite like when the kit um, is quite colourful. Has really nice, nice a lot of colour. <coughs> Okay, so let's have a look at embellishment first. As you can see here, you get this um, sticker sheet, which is one-sided. Um, and you just get something quite simple, um, easy to use. Uh, a lot of relax, let's go home in here. Um, a lot of home-related um, um, products, I guess, this month. And you get these puffy sticker by Hello Forever. Um, they are really, really quite bright, to be honest. Um, brighter than the usual I guess do calico well it's, it's more like very intense color rather than kind of usual um, kind of mellow color that do calico tend to do um, and you got these um, similar to the documenter kit you get these chipboard um, I guess spread through about three squares as well um, and I think you can even mix with the, if you do get both the kits, you can put, even mix them and create a page with these. Um, and you get this stamp set, which is by One Little Bird, and morning, afternoon, and evening. This, once again, is very good for Week in Alive projects, if you are um, if you are doing that one. Um, and then you get these um, 
label stickers or actually it's die cut labels um, which you just pop out um, I think when you pop them out I think they're not they won't be perfect to be honest I think you might need to just snip the legs how it's actually not not that easy to pull out to be honest um, you might need to kind of just use them like a bit of scissors to trim off the excess and just you know pop them out that way um, but they they're really nice color gray black and white um, easy to use and you get these um, similar to the documenter kit you get these um, stickers sorry acetate as well they look exactly the same as the documenter kit except I think they're of different color so I think the house in the documenter kit was in it was blue now you get pink and the um, the cloth face you get in your um, documenter kit was red um, this is blue and you get just they're all exactly the same except they're of different color I guess and now actually another thing is you get these sequins um, I've got a lot of sequins I don't really know what to do with them to be honest apart from just kind of putting them in a the pocket when I um, and, and just fuse the top just uh, I guess putting them like a the, I, I guess like a shaker pocket that might be useful um, but and the last thing is these are these um, alphabet stickers so similar to the documenter kit but this one is instead of I think we got pink in the documenter kit and these ones are kind of bold, boldish green um, there you go. So you get two pieces, two sheets, um, and you get a couple of A's, um, two A's in each sheet. So you get four in total. Okay, let's have a look at the um, pattern paper. All right, so I'm just going to show you the first one side first. So this first one is called Broly. Um, I guess it's to remind you of water drops and therefore umbrella, maybe. Um, almost like a polka dot and there's some and a yellow and white one um, a lot of triangles this is very nice I really like this one it's very um, almost very Maggie Holmes style flower shop um, this one's called timely um, polka dot which almost like a green frame around it and then you get three four pieces of just um, plain cardstock. Now let's have a look at the other side. So you get the stripe, red and white stripe. Um, there's nothing on the other side. I presume this is a specialty paper. I'm not entirely sure. Um, not sure actually. Um, just kind of brick wall looking pattern. This is very pretty, um, pink and white polka dot, almost like scatter dots I guess, um, triangles and just graph kind of boxes line. Okay, so here is here are all the products that I got um, for May scrapbook and documenter kit. Um, actually, two more things. Um, I also got these um, color theory, which I think you got to choose. Um, actually, I, I, this might be from the month before. This might be actually from March. Um, so that m might not be part of the May kit. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, um, if you want YouTube to let you know when my next video comes out, we'll see.